Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is your guide to the Pilfer Pet Battle on Argus. I'm going to start with a super quick strat for world questing, and then go through family-specific teams for the Family Fighter achievement. Pilfer lives here in the Antorn Wastes. I don't know what he could possibly be stealing out here, but it's time for it to stop. First up, the fastest strategy for when you just want to get your world quest done and go. This also doubles as the Beast strat. First is any raptor with more than 263 speed set up with exposed wounds, and second is your Zandalari, Angle Render, or Knee Biter with Black Claw and Hunting Party. Any third beast should do, but another Falcosaur won't hurt, especially if you're not rocking the full attack breed of the first one. Starting with the Exposed Wounds Raptor, use Exposed Wounds and then promptly die. Bring in your favorite Zandalari combo render and use Black Claw, then Hunting Party. The first round is only okay, but after that it really kicks into high gear. Problem solved. Next is Aquatic. I'm using my Ghost Shark with huge sharp teeth, Ghostly Bite and Dive, a Sea Calf with Water Jet, Bubble and Blood in the Water, and third is my new Lagon Eel with Deep Bite, Dodge, and Dive. A Slithershock Elver would also work assuming that your breed sports more than 263 speed, which mine regrettably does not. Starting with the Ghost Shark, use Dive, then Ghostly Bite. Sure, you stun yourself, but he's recovering over there for at least one of those rounds, so we're good. After Ghostly Bite, you pass your stun round and use huge sharp teeth twice before your Ghost Shark double dives. Bring in the Sea Calf and use Blood in the Water, then Bubble, and then start spamming Water Jet. His bleed falls off before we get Blood in the Water back up, so we can just stick to Water Jet until the Sea Calf dies. Out comes my Eel, so I'll use Dive, then Dodge, and then Deep Bite three times. Repeat that cycle one more time, dive, then dodge, and then deep biting. Those early bites just tickled, but by the end we are really quite chompy. Next we'll do Critter. I'm using the Dark Moon Rabbit, and it is key that it's a Dark Moon Rabbit set up with huge sharp teeth, dodge, and burrow, a sneaky marmot with jab, blinding powder, and smoke bomb, and a Dark Moon Hatchling with trample and predatory strike. This one is kinda long, so buckle up. Starting with the bunny, use dodge, then teeth, and then switch to the marmot. Use blinding powder, and then jab three times, and then blinding powder again. Switch to the dark moon hatchling. Use trample three times, and then switch back to the rabbit. We'll use burrow, then dodge, then huge sharp teeth three times. Burrow again, and then dodge, and then huge sharp teeth again until your rabbit finally dies. He is about to cannon, so I'll bring in the marmot and use a quick blinding powder. Swap to the Dark Moon Hatchling, and seeing as he's below a quarter health, Predatory Strike. I knew I kept that lanky purple bird around for a reason. Next, we've got Elemental. I'm using a Pandaren Water Spirit with Water Jet, Dive, and Geyser, a Ruby Droplet with Absorb, Bubble, and Drain Blood, and third is a Nightshade Sproutling with more than 263 speed using Lash and Blinding Poison. That Sproutling could be swapped out for a Forest Sprout with over 263 speed with Refuge, or even the Bound Stream with Dive. Starting with the Water Spirit, I'll use Dive, and then Geyser, and then Water Jet twice. I swap in my Ruby Droplet and use Bubble, and then Drain Blood for the damage, and Absorb. Switch back to the Water Spirit. Geyser again, and then Dive, and then Water Jet one more time before the Spirit's done. Bring back the Droplet and use Absorb, then Bubble, then Absorb again. For a bit more damage, and to wait out the Bubble cooldown, I'll swap in my third pet and use Lash, then Blinding Poison, and then Spam Lash. My Nightshade doesn't quite finish it off, but he does eat the cannon, leaving my droplet to drain blood and seal the deal with Absorb. He's still got all his health points, look at that! Next is Humanoid. I'm using a Sister of Temptation with Agony, Curse of Doom, and Lovestruck, and second is Squirky with Punch, Stampede, and Bubble. I threw a little bad wolf in third, but didn't need it. Starting with the Sister, use Lovestruck, then Curse of Doom, and then Agony. She dies to the cannon, at which point we'll bring out Squirky. Use Bubble, and then Stampede. Stampede itself is doing weak damage, but that 100% damage taken debuff affects both the end of the Agony and the Curse of Doom, which is really nice. After Stampede, two good punches finishes the fight. Next, we'll do Mechanical. I am, for possibly the first time ever, using a Rabid Nut Varmint with Rabid Strike, second is my Pocket Cannon with Explode, and third is my favorite Dark Moon Zeppelin with Missile and Decoy. Starting with that rascally nut varmint, spam Rabbit Strike until it won't let you anymore. In my experience, you get four. Roll in the pocket cannon and pick any damage shot. Press it twice for one shot, and then use Explode while he's still got that rabid debuff. On the Zeppelin, throw up your decoy and start spamming missile. It never lets me down. Next, we've got Dragonkin. 
First slot is the Twilight Clutch Sister with Tail Sweep, Phase Shift, and Twilight Meteorite. Second and third slots are my Nether Fairy Dragon and Sprite Darter Hatchling respectively, both with over 263 speed and set up with Arcane Blast, Evanescence, and Moonfire. Start with that Clutch Sister and use Phase Shift, and then Meteorite, and then Tail Sweep three times. Use Phase Shift, and then Tail Sweep, and then one last Twilight Meteorite before the Clutch Sister dies. Bring in a Fairy Dragon and use Evanescence, then Moonfire, then three Arcane Blasts. Again, Evanescence, Moonfire, and Arcane Blast away. When your first dragon dies and the second one comes out, follow that same pattern. Evanescence, Moonfire, Arcane Blast three times. Or as many as it takes for him to keel over already. Next is Flying, and I bet you've heard this song before. First slot is a Skyfin pet with Wild Magic, and second is Icky with Savage Talon, Black Claw, and Flock. Start with the Skyfin and lay down Wild Magic, then heroically eat the cannon with your finny little body. Bring in Icky and use Black Claw, and then Flock. That almost does it, but before you go AFK, hit Savage Talon at least once to really polish things off. Next up is Magic. I'm dusting off my Nightmare Bell and setting it up with Shadow Shock and Dark Rebirth. Second is the Lofty Librum or another book pet, more than 263 speed, and take Shadow Shock, Amp Magic, and Curse of Doom. Any third pet will do, I slung along my Twilight Fiendling, but your favorite Surge of Power pet is also a safe just-in-case bet. Starting with the bell, use Shadow Shock four times, and then Dark Rebirth. Shadow Shock another three times before you lose your bell. On the book, use Curse of Doom, and then Amp Magic, and then start mashing the Shadow Shocks. The magic racial is almost always underwhelming, but versus these cannon pets, it feels like cheating. Last is Undead. I'm using my Unborn Valkyr with Curse of Doom and Unholy Ascension, and second is a Restless Shadeling featuring more than 263 speed with Shadow Shock, Plagued Blood, and Phase Shift. That could be easily swapped for a Ghastly Kid with Diseased Bite and Ethereal. The third slot can be any undead pet, I brought a Ghost Maggot and included Survival just in case. On the Valkyr, use Curse of Doom and then Unholy Ascension. The Shadeling is about to do a lot of work over here. Go Plagued Blood, and then Phase Shift, and then Shadow Shock six times. You really just Shadow Shock him to death if we're being honest. So that's Family Fighter Pilfer. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for the rest of the Family Fighter guides and other super cool wow videos. Let me know what you think, share your own strategies in the comments if you like, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!